as you can see, defenders defending the main point over towards the bridge with uh, a few, few heroes over here at A. And everybody on the side of Eden will be going straight to get in, try and get the bridge. That's the that's the key point here. You go for the bridge. Do you defend the walls like Slavs did, or do you do the opposite and defend the way Black Army did and leave A and B? That is the question. By the looks of it, I don't think the Origin boys or Wear Clans, sorry, are going to be doing that. We are definitely not going to see that from Wear Clans. I doubt very much. But this is it. Here we go. We are underway. It is going to be good to see how this one plays out. No Cav in the first setups here, as you can see, which means no Sally out, but definitely strong units there in the defense. We've got some Modals, we have some Iron Reapers, we have Handsmen, we have some Palace Guards, Grey Hairs. Same in the attack, you have IPGs, you have some Fort Abrasio, you have Iron Reapers, we have some Palace Guards. Yeah, we are going to have some Woodcutters too. Just some Woodcutters, you know, just that easy picking Woodcutters. Here we go. Let's see how this one goes. Let's get it straight into the Z map. And we will go right above. Let's go. Let's rise above them all. As you can see, there is a defense set up. Some units that are going straight across the bridge, but there will be some units to stay on top. Army up here to try and pick off some heroes. Because Army is a great hero picker. He likes to pick and kill as many heroes as possible. Trying to get up the ladders as it stands. There is a couple of units that will be pushing siege towers, but not at this very moment in time yet. They are trying to go full up the wall with units up the wall. Grape shots on defense. There's nothing on the attack, so all they can do is try and whittle down that uh, the gateway theirself with their hands and the barge, but no artillery. It's so far away at this point in time for the attackers. You only have trebs. And then your musket players. Ami has got his woodcutters there, but he's retreating. He's going to try and get away. He's just watching out to see what units and heroes are there. But he jumps off the wall. Well, some of the players are defending the woodcutters at the top. Silverox isn't giving that up. He is just holding up there as the sharp bow. Whittling units down as he can. Is the bridge going to fall? Silverox is going to try and get back across the bridge. Are they going to be able to take the bridge out? That is the question. Is the bridge going to fall before Silverox gets there? He's going to cross the bridge, hoping he doesn't die to the bridge. But the push is coming from Eden. Eden, they're capturing a supply point, but they're going to try and push herself straight across the bridge. Ghost X gets across. So does General Reap. So does Magna. All the heroes are getting across. Question is, will any units get across? You can force as many heroes up here as possible, but if you can take it out, with the units, then yes, it's gone. But it doesn't look like the bridge is going to fall. Our units are going across it now. And it's definitely going to be a good chance here. Temple shot. And the rest of the boys defending the point. If only if only they got dropped down on that little hawatsha right there, they can potentially get that bridge down. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Lamb of the Cray tries to push up here. Units coming from this one direction here. We'll zoom in around this side here. They're not doing anything elsewhere. There's no siege towers pushed or nothing like that yet. As you can see, SK6 is outside doing some things as a dual blade out in the background. But they are now going to start moving off. Eden, push yourself up onto the point. Just the heroes just now. Just looking to see where the units are going. Going to try and pre-treb units maybe. But just trying to force that treb out. Well, B gets taken. All the heroes push from Eden. There's a treb coming in now. Is the pre-treb going to hit anything here as the units retreat their way down? Somehow all the heroes have pushed off. Nobody's capping so they're going to wait but just push yourself as far forward as possible. Constantly on the move Eden are. They don't want to give up their ground. They don't want to go back. Somebody will cap B at some point but they are going straight away. Nobody to defend the A point here as well. A couple of heroes just there. Uh, Units, just, just small units getting taken out while they pick up here A and B at the same time. It's going to give them a little bit of time. We are going to look at about 10 minutes here to cap C point. Zenga is pushing himself out the wall, but as you can see, it's an easy cap here for A and B. It was just a kind of small delay 
for the the guys of Weir Cleanse. Just a little defense, just to just to kind of make them have to do something. No siege towers up on the wall though, so no other way to get their units on the wall yet. So the only way they have is to go all the way back or come with the units that they have right now. So that's a good strategy and a good plan. Um, and as you can see, they're all going up the wall here, back towards the B point. But not want to be trying to split themselves too far because we can't. they can't go that far away if they do. Like you see, they've already got the supply point back there. They had to recap that because the supply point out there was taken and Essex took the... S6 took the both supply points. Well, he was a dual blade. He was going and doing some dual blade things, sneaking in on the back. And all the heroes have to go back, grab their next set of units, ready for the next play. Well, at this whole time, where clans have the time to set up ready to defend wherever their defense goes. As you can see, they're pushing back out, checking the walls, looking around, seeing what they can see. That sneaky dual blade going to be doing some sneaky dual blade things later on as well. But it looks like all of Eden are coming off of the wall. They're going to start pushing these siege towers because they want to get a quick and easy access up onto the points. They only have 11 minutes though. So the boys are going to have to try and do something. They're just watching them out here from the top of the wall. Flynn, just, just keeping an eye on where all the heroes of Eden are going and all the players and units and stuff are going at this point in time. Remember, they've only used one treb as well, so we have 14 trebs still available on the attacker's side. But all the heroes are just going to stay up on the wall here. Just constantly spam it. They're taking the bridge down, uh, the, the breach down slowly here. But they're all just kind of setting themselves up ready. Looks like they're looking to open the front gate here as well, though. So they are opening the front gate. Their plan is to get that front gate open, but a clever plan there. As you can see, they took the, they opened the gate themselves, Temple Shots, Clan opened the gate, sent some units down, and they're defending the front there already, throwing some javelins, stopping the units. We've got some ranged in the back there as well. So we have some Senjis in the back that were doing some damage there so that nobody can push forward and nobody can push and break down that wall. So with no access to the wall yet, apart from going all the way through, the B side, they have to wait till both siege towers or even three siege towers are pushed. All three of them have been pushed, but the gate is still not a chance. Sadrazam is just, just holding off people with the, the musket there. Lamb of the Cray just pushing in so that they can't shut the gate again because that is a great strategy. They would just sit, shut the gate, stop them from getting back in, and then, yeah, easy. At this point in time, they can start pushing though, and they'll break the gate instantaneously once that reaches. So if the Martello Tories don't all die quick enough, they will break the gate instantaneously and Eden will have an option to get in there through the gate. As you can see, there's the gate instantly downed. One siege tower is up. Lamb of the Cray goes straight up onto it. Heroes just paying attention to where the heroes are coming up from and they're going to rotate around there. So Eden coming around the back here and we are clowns just setting themselves up ready to where the push is going to come from. Now the siege towers are up. It's going to be quicker for Eden to get units back and forward. And as you can see, they're all kind of getting themselves prepped, ready to go down the walls uh, when ready. So it's just Eden just playing back and forward, just like moving either side, just trying to bait out some movement. Obviously, the, the heavier classes and units like Iron Reapers and Modal, you want to get moving as quickly as you can somewhere away. But they're all coming down this right-hand side. You see some units of Keshiks here traveling around, some Jav Cav here as well. But they're just going to try and whittle them down in this little corner. Only one set. And there we go. Flynn's watching the back end here. So he's going to go try and take out as many of the units in the back there if he can. If he sees some Falconettis, he'll be trying to take them out. But he didn't get a, get a good push through. They've, they've managed to give themselves some land around there. King Amu picks up the first kill. Warfarfu is the first dev in the battle. And as you see, Eden's pushing through a really tight space here at this point in time. But will they get pinched here? Eodif coming from in from the right-hand side. You've got some flamers on the side of Origin or Weir Cleanse. 
And here comes a charge of lanch necks and IPGs. Interesting thing we hear. Vasectomy goes down, Ghost X down and General Root down. So that's a couple of Eden heroes all dying here at the same time. Four heroes down. Five heroes down on Eden's side. Where Clan's doing a good job here. Magda trying to come in from the back here, coming through the gate. But Where Clan's pushing him back up the stairwell and pushing him back away. You hear some Cav coming in from Amya as well. He charges over. Even more heroes killed at this point in time. Only six alive from Eden at this point in time. Fifteen still alive on the side of Weir Clan. So that's a great push. And now it's time to recover and reset. Fort Brasio in the center there. The only thing alive at this point in time. But that was a great wipe from Weir Clans in terms of heroes. At least they don't have a, a limited amount of deaths. They can respawn as many times as they need. But obviously as you die, the more you die, the more time you have of a cooldown. So a similar idea to sieges. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that goes in there. As you see here, the kills are still still coming up. Still coming up. Eden boys pushing down the wall. Just as heroes here quickly, trying to gain some forward momentum, trying to gain that kind of land territory on their own while their unit's slowly coming behind them. But there's some Javcav trying to throw over the wall from Where Origins. You've also got... Oh, Where Clans? Where Origins. There we go. It's Where Origins. You've got some Bomb Boys as well thrown, trying to throw over the wall here, but with no luck. A little bit higher. But the Javcav definitely getting used very well here, trying to slowly whittle down the units. The quicker you whittle down the units, the defense and the attack units here as they come in, like Eden did last time around. They came in through this gap. They're all clumped up together, but now they're using a treb. Are they getting a pre-treb in here? Well, Weirkrans are kind of split. Like, there's no units clustered too cl close together. They're getting the bomb boys in. They're getting the javelin sergeants in. And there goes an IPG march, which is nice IPG march here. Temple healing up as he goes. Mashing falls. Temple shit's got shatter the ranks achievement as we move forward. Weirkrans with a nice push in here, but here comes a big treb. Lamar Crate, will he pick up some good, good kills here and help the push of Eden here? It's a little bit far back. Does take out some units though and does take out some heroes. Does weaken them enough. But Eden definitely being pushed back up the stairs here and back into that corner there. We are seeing some more cav from Amya. Winkrow falters down. King Amya's unit defeated Magna as well. That was defeated General Reap as well. Yeah, Amya's unit just doing some work there with a the cav charge. There we go. We're back down to four heroes of Eden alive and Origin. And Weir Clan's just doing some work there. Ghost X, everybody's chasing Ghost X. Ghost X falls as well. Essex defeated. And Nemo is down as well. So, one hero left. Matix is the only hero surviving of that push from Eden. Down to only 533 units to Weir Clan's 749. That was a fantastic push. We're looking at Amya here just now. We've seen him getting, picking up a lot of kills there. He's Cav, his wing to Sarge here, getting work put in there. Definitely putting in some work. He's only took troop casualties. Ah, oh, this is interesting. So let's have a look at this, this tab here because this is the more information that we're needing here. So Amya has five Hero kills, he's had 4 assists, only 24 unit kills, but he's killing the heroes which is doing some work. You've also got Essex, the both dual blades picking up hero kills, doing what they have to do as that assassin. Only a couple of hero kills in terms of, well, only one hero kill from where, uh, from uh, Eden. So I have no idea, these guys are just clustered so well that they just don't die. Essex in overnight, Essex picking up that 6th kill. In the battle here. Center kills Warfarfu. Now they're pushing down this other side. So Eden trying to do something different. Changing the strategy up a little bit. Coming down the left side wall. But once again. You have the strong defense structure here. Very good units getting pushed. They're using them at the right time. Literally flame boys. All these uh, Senji's Grenadiers putting in some work with the grenades. Just wiping heroes off of the point and wiping straight away. Look at that. Ghost X dies. There's even more heroes dying at this point in time. Seven heroes live from Eden. 
we cleanse, doing the work. Killing the heroes very quickly. Amia is still staying alive somehow. He gets away from that there and somehow survives. Oh, no, Magnar defeated him. Magnar eventually got him with a musket. But that is all she wrote. Dunkel falls to his death there. Warfarfu, the only player alive. Nope. Yeah, Warfarfu and Magnar, the only two players alive. But Winkro says goodbye to you. He falls off and Magnar is killed by Silver Ox. Now there is no heroes alive from Eden. We are out of this stalemate now. 1 minute and 51. All of the Weir Clans are going to come outside. They are going to try and just wipe them. Like at this point in time, it is a GG. 5 hero kills against 40 hero kills. That is the difference maker that is. As you can see, the map <laughs> belongs very much true to the Weir Clans. They, they, just, they just didn't fall or their, their units just didn't want to given their heroes were just putting in some work. Amya works with seven hero kills. You've got SX, SX Kiz with seven hero kills as well. And to be honest, that's that's more kills. One of them heroes killed more than the whole team of Eden did. And that is going to be a team to beat. Uh, that, that is a solid squad, boys. Sentry, Essex t Temple Shot, Java Mill, Silver Rocks, Flynn, Duncones, Winkrow, all putting in work here. Every single one of you is putting in work. Essex doesn't get the Essex uh, Essex kids doesn't get any unit kills, really. He only gets 19 unit kills, but the seven hero kills, he was also the one to come out here and take out both the supply points so that they had to slow it back down. And now the heroes are just sitting waiting here. Ghost X just staying here, saying hi bye, making fires, Java Mill. Friendly lads, just 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 putting a fire up. Amia just pops out of sight. Hello, Amia. There we are. All all good guys. Well done, GG. Good fights. I want to see some dance moves, guys. Where's the dance moves? King Amia with the backflip. Oh, Java's throwing some money at us. Well done, guys. If you voted in the predictions for it to be a win for Wear Clans, you were right. The 10,000 of you that won for Wear Clans, you guys have got that one right. Look at this. As you can see, Hydra on top MVP for Eden, but Winkrow on top for Wear Clans. Lots of great work put in by the both Dual Blades, Essex Kicks, and Amia. Fantastic. All the kills mainly down this little point here, in this little pocket that Eden tried to push through. They just got pinched and couldn't move from there. Um, they tried it the second time, like after the second time, they tried to go down this right side wall um, and it was to no avail once again. But the hero kill difference definitely shows how strong it was, a hero kill game there. 41 hero kills versus 5 hero kills.